just real quick before we start this video, I want to let you guys know if you stick around to the end, uh, we have a little bonus for you guys. If you guys are interested in any of the Bear Scent products that I've been using for the last five years, and I'm telling you, they are awesome. If you're interested in any of that, I got a promo code for you, and we're going to give that to you at the end of the video. So enjoy the video. We'll see you at the end. Uh, once again, we're with Casey uh, Higley from Wild River Taxidermy. Um, earlier today, he showed us how to skin out the head on a uh, mule deer buck. Uh, this is the barest shot this spring I've had on ice till. We've been talking about this, doing this for months now, and we finally were able to get together today and get this done. So he's going to go ahead and show us how to do this bear head as well. So I'm going to step back once again, let Casey take it over. All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, with the bear, it's a lot the same as any big game animals except you don't have the antlers and you don't have tear ducts on a bear. So I'm going to start with the lips first. And like I said before, you leave about a, a quarter to a half inch max. So you go across here. Okay, so got that part done. On the other side here. Okay, now we've got that lip line run. We'll go, this is a, this one's been skinned for a, a rug or a wall hanger, so it's skinned down the belly. If you're to skin for a life size, the best thing to do is to skin down the back from about right here and go all the way back to the tail and then tube the legs. This one here was skinned, like I said, for a rug. So the head's been skinned out to, uh, right you know about where the soft part is in the bottom of the skull you see the you can feel that soft part where the tongue is and it goes like this and there'll be a hard spot that's pretty much where you skin to on that then you take after you skin that and you start peeling the head back so do there like this You can feel right here, right at the back of the skull, that's where the ears are. And so when you go, as you're skinning, I like to skin it up a little bit, up the ears just a little bit, 
makes my life easier when I go to turn these ears inside out before I solve it. Then I'll come back here, skin off as much meat as I can from that ear there, and come to where it connects to the skull. And remove it there. Okay, so we got the ear removed on this side here. It's a little frozen still. <laughs> And when I skin them in the field, I actually leave them on the carcass and everything, skin the carcass, and then roll, roll right down the head, and I'll leave the head completely attached to the carcass. Because you have weight there, so you can pull and pry on your hide, and it doesn't drag because it's not disconnected. So when you're doing this in the field, keep that in mind, instead of removing it from the head. But if you do and you're sitting in camp and you're waiting around while your buddies are still hunting, then you can remove the head then the way we're doing it right now. As you can see, I try to keep all the meat on the head, not on the hide. Main reason for this, besides it makes your taxidermist life much easier when he goes to flesh it, Meat traps heat, and heat causes bacteria. You've got this thick hide that stays warm, and then you've got the skin. You need to cool the skin down, so if you've got big chunks of meat, there's a barrier there, and that's where you'll get slip spots on your hide. So same thing when you skin the whole animal. Keep as much fat and meat on the carcass and the least on the, uh, the skin so you don't get those slip spots. Okay, like we did on the other ear. Remove as much fat and meat as possible here as I get down to where it attaches to the skull. Cut it off. Okay, feel for that eye, just like you do the deer or anything else. So you don't cut the back corner of the eye there. Let me, uh, his eyes are hiding pretty good there. Okay, still quite a ways away from that eye, so. So you take and you feel, get to where your eye is. Skinning down the lips there. And, where you get your finger in that eye there and you can see the separation there you don't want to cut up here you want to cut that light membrane right there then you can pull your hand out get it right there in the eye so you don't cut it and then just just like that you can see where you'd uh, cut and made your lines on the lips. So it's no guesswork. There's not much there to be fleshed and turned later on. Both eyes there.
got the bottom jaw completely removed now, so we'll go to that top jaw and the nose. freezer burned there so it doesn't want to play as easy as a fresh one and there it is cleaned off not much meat left around the face it'll be rolled up and put in the freezer or taken to your taxidermist. Perfect, Casey. Thank you once again. No problem. Uh, Thank you. That was very, very informative. I didn't. I had no clue how to even start a bear head, so uh, that made it a whole bunch easier. So we're gonna do one more video uh, for this series, and that is the paws. So uh, we're gonna start that here in just a sec. And once again, Casey, awesome job. That looks great. Pretty excited to see what that skull looks like once I get it boiled off. Yeah, it should look nice. Okay, I hope you guys found that video as informative as I did. Like I said, if you stuck around to the end of the video, we're going to give you a promo code to receive 10% off of all of BearSense products. Uh, just go to their website, punch in promo code JOHN18, and like I already said, that will give you 10% off all their products. And I just got to tell you guys, man, I have used that stuff for the last five years and it, it, it has been fantastic stuff. Um, so I, I really think you'll enjoy it. Also, there's a link for my Bear series from last year, spring 2017. Uh, I did a little six part series on that, uh, documenting the entire series. And you'll also see me using a lot of that bear scent stuff throughout the whole series. I and mean, it was a awesome hunt. I had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, posting those videos, not knowing how the hunt was going to turn out for sure. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I, I, I hope you guys, in, if you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, please take the time to do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that again this spring. So, as always, click on the button right here. Hit subscribe. Help us out, okay? We don't make a dime doing this. Um, and it's just, just because we like doing it. And hopefully you guys like what we do. So, uh, enjoy these videos, guys. Thanks. Bye.